Welcome to YouTube. Once again, it is story time. It is Wednesday. And you know what? I had to change it. I'm not giving y'all two stories a week. I'm giving y'all one because it's just a lot to download these videos and all that good stuff in LA. So the story this Wednesday is about how I unknowingly slept with a married man. So I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you two short stories. So pretty much, I was at home in my hometown. I had just moved back or whatever. I had a store, doing my own thing. Just kind of really, I always, pr pretty much to this day, I just kind of really mind my own business. I was in the mall, walking around. I think I was in belts. I noticed this guy that was just staring at me across the way. And I just look and I'm like, because, you know, it's Chattanooga. You pr typically pretty much don't get too many people coming up trying to approach you to talk to you, et cetera. Everything is kind of like weird. And, and and so me coming from Atlanta, going home for a year or two, I was just kind of just really not having it. It is what it is. If you're gay, you're gay. You're not, you're not. Just kind of stay out of my face or whatever. And so, you know, I'm I'm doing my thing, shopping, going through the clothes in the mall. This is that and third, looking for something to wear for something, you know. And I had on my usual my jeans and my v-neck t-shirt y'all know me for the past 15 years that's what i do and i just heard what's up and i'm like hey steady doing my thing you know ain't you that the designer guy yada 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 strike up conversation yeah so i'm like okay cool cool you know i guess he know a little bit about me um, and I guess he's probably seen the store or whatever and probably seen on television or whatever. So I'm like, and at that time, I don't even know if I would have been on television or not. I don't know. And, um, so we were just, you know, chopping it up, blah, 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 blah. We exchanged numbers. Great conversation. Nothing big, nothing major. He came over to the shop a couple of times. We hung out and, um... You know, we played around, nothing major, because it was just weird. You know, it was just weird. It was just like he just wanted to to kind of cap me up. And I'm like, oh, okay, it was. that's your thing, that's your thing. You like it, I love it. It is what it is. So I noticed he would just kind of act strange afterwards, you know, and I'm like, okay, it is It is what it is. You know, and, and I, wasn't, I wasn't in a mind frame to just be in a serious relationship anyway. So I kind of like, it just is what it is. Goodbye, whatever. So um, when I moved home, I had wrecked my truck, so I didn't have a car. I was uh, saving up to get a new car. I had a store or whatever, and I just take a taxi everywhere. He just happened to come up to the shop to see me, and I was like, run me, run me to my uh, crib right quick, which I live with my aunt and my uncle right around the corner. So I noticed this nigga had a minivan, and I'm like, why are you got a minivan like not saying there's nothing wrong with a minivan but like most dudes will have an suv um some type of truck but you got a minivan i hops in that damn minivan <laughs> lo and behold in the back seat there was a baby there was a car seat so i didn't say nothing at first i was just real quiet and i was like so how many kids you got he said, oh, we just got one. Nigga, who is we? He said, I'm married. Ah, stop the car. Let me out. I'm good. Called a taxi and I took my ass home. Um, and this, or, this other story, it's the same deal. I was in Atlanta. This guy came, wanted some alterations or whatever. Had small talk, cute guy, blah, 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 blah. And um, he was like, I need you to um, do these t-shirts. And I'm like, uh, here we go again. Dude want a t-shirt. Straight dude want a clothing line. Yada, yada, yada. It is what it is. So he was just like, I need you to alter some pants for me as well. So he came in the bathroom. He went in the dressing room, came out. And... He was like kind of flirt with me. His ding dang glitch was hanging and all that. I was like, really, dude? So I'm like, okay, dude's gay. And um, we was talking just about life and school. We're about the same age. So it was all fine and dandy. And um, we actually hung out a couple of times 
And I'm not a call type person. We'll text every now and then. He'll stop by. It was nothing major. It is what it is because, you know, I'm so focused on my work. So it just kind of is what it is. And this was in my early, early 30s. And so I had a booking um, where I was headlining, hosting this show. And so I walked back backstage and he was one of the models. But I ain't, because he wasn't all that fine to be no damn model. So I'm like, okay. Um, and his, when I talked to him, I, I spoke because at the time, I think I haven't seen him in like a, maybe a month or two or whatever, because I was traveling all over the place and his voice would change like, Hey, what's going on? I'm like, and it was very short. I was like, okay. And so I noticed that he was playing with these, two, these, uh, two little boys and I was like, okay, they cute. And he was like, these are my boys. I was like, Oh, here we go again with that same shit. Lo and behold, this big white woman started coming around the corner. And he was like, this my wife. <laughs> Bitch! I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't, you know, I held it together. I was like, hmm, hey, how you doing, girl? You look fabulous. Line. And I kind of just played it off like that, did my thing, and went on. And he tried to contact me, um... Afterwards, and it's just kind of like ignore. So here's the deal, ladies. And I can't speak for all gay men, but I only can speak for myself. And I know my friends feel the same way. I don't go seeking married men. They come seeking, for me and my crew, they come seeking us. They hide their rings. They lie. And... By the time we really kind of find out, we don't did to do or kind of find out. Because it's just like a person is so secretive these days. And then, I'm going to be honest. When I meet a person, I go straight to their Instagram or their Facebook to see what they got going on. And if they don't have you on their Instagram or they don't have you on their social media, girl, you ain't doing something right. So those are my experiences. I want to hear y'all. I want to read y'all comments. And I want to answer y'all questions and let me know what y'all think about the situations. Because a lot of times, you know, some of my female friends kind of look at you crazy and be like, girl, this married man hit on me. And, and she like, well, what did you do? Because she married. I'm like, bitch, I didn't do anything. They come up to me, honey, and all this fine chocolate <laughs> glass of water, glass of milk. huh? So, you know, I want to hear you guys' reactions to this video. Um... And do I, I don't believe in no cheating, no adultery, whatever you want to call it. That's just not my style. And that's why I cut them so short. And I'm going to be honest, it has happened to me more than two times. You know, I'm almost 40 years old. And it seems like as I get older, they're coming out of everywhere. And I'm like, bruh, I'm sorry, you married. I don't get down like that. Even if you had a boyfriend, I don't get down like that. So, um... Like, comment, and share this video, and I want to read your comments below. Um, happy Wednesday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.